Hi, so for my latest video, I'm going to show you how to replace the armrest covers on a HSE Spec Freelander 2. Um, you may uh, be like me and find that your um, armrest, particularly driver's side, has started to deteriorate. I've got some cracks that are formed in, in mine. Um, and I managed to find on eBay that you can actually buy these covers um, at a fairly reasonable price um, and then swap them over. I've already done the passenger side um, and I was actually quite pleased with the uh, the colour match there actually I was uh, a little bit nervous when I ordered it as to how good a match it will be but it's pretty good um, I think the only difference is the the stitching on the end is is subtly different to the to the original now to remove these um, armrests there are two bits you have to take off um, to start with uh, one is the uh, the plastic cover on the rear hinge um, and I'll show you how to do that uh, uh, shortly and then the other element to remove is the um, is the adjuster on the end there um, this basically pulls off but it's uh, pushed on very very tightly onto a splined end on the on the bar there um, and I actually found that we need to get something in there and lever that off I tried to pull it off by hand and it just wasn't going to come and then once those two uh, elements are off we can then remove the arm and then uh, take it indoors and, and start the process of um, replacing the uh, the covering. So uh, I'll bring you back once I've uh, got to the point of uh, removing the driver's side one. So in terms of removing the armrest, the first thing you need to do is to uh, remove this um, plastic cover that uh, covers over the, the hinge and the, uh, the Torx uh, bolt that holds the armrest to the seat. Um, it's actually held in by, by three lugs um, and it slides downwards so you have to sort of prise it up a little bit on the bottom edge here to try and ease the lug out and then get a trim tool under the top edge here uh, and push it downwards. And there it slides down. So once that's um, out of the way, it reveals a, a Torx um, screw bolt in the end here, which obviously you need to release, and then the arm will uh, will come away. Remember which Torx it is. <clears throat> basically comes away with a with a washer and then the arm itself um, you have to rotate it to a certain angle to get it to withdraw because there's a I'll show you once it comes off there's a, there's a bar that projects that comes through a slot so it's kind of potentially about 45 degrees terms of angle um, and that's it off there and then the, the slot where my finger is just here goes over that um, projecting bar there So the next stages of the process, once you've got the armrest off, is to remove the um, adjuster knob. Um, and that basically just pushes on to a spline on the end of the bar here. Now it's very, very hard to pull off. So what I tend to do is try and get something in this gap here and lever it off because it's a very, very tight fit. So slightly ad hoc tools here, but this is a, a window scraper. And I found before this fitted in quite nicely in here. 
in order to lever that apart. Started to uh, to move on the splines now. So that's that offer there. I'm gonna say it's basically just a spline on the end of the rod. Having removed that, we then need to try and get the existing um, cover off. Uh, you'll find that it's um, it's glued, partially glued around this opening, so you need to prise that glue your glue way. on the far side there's just generally some dots of glue on this side that's right more straightforward to come off and then take that over the end of the arm and that makes it a bit easier getting this glue off now you'll find on the original that there's a um there's a Velcro strip here that um, uh, fits on the underside of where the uh, the arm projects out. Um, so you have to pull that Velcro obviously away as you're withdrawing the, the arm or cover. And there we have it. That's the old cover removed. Basically the arm itself comprises a plastic um, bottom section and then a, a rigid foam covered top section. And that's now ready to, uh, to put the new cover on. Now there's one thing to note with the covers that I purchased off eBay is that the the hole on this side is subtly different to the hole on the original, it's much smaller, and this sort of central tab, if you like, is much wider compared to there. So um, I have found it necessary to to cut this section a bit just to get it um, to go over the uh, over the arm. Uh, so I'll do that next, but I shan't I shan't bother videoing that. I think the far side. Um, wasn't too bad if my memory serves me right when I did the first one. They're fairly comparable. It's just, just this side that needs a, a bit of trimming. Now it may be that if you, I think that these particular covers came from China. Um, I think there are other ones available on the uh, on eBay. So it may be that um, depending on which one you've bought, you may find that your, your hole is a bit better match than uh, the mine is. So in terms of um, inserting the arm into the sleeve, you obviously need to go in via the, the larger hole here and then feed it up to the front. I have just warmed this briefly with a hairdryer. I'm not sure whether that's gonna make any difference or not, but I did see that on another, some uh, other comments on, the, on one of the forums. So I've given that a go, because it's a bit of a tight fit. So. Get that started. I just briefly um, stopped the video there just to, to get that on because it wasn't easy to do it with the, in front of the camera. 
Um, so that slid on there, and then you just carry on the process of sliding this on. So the next stage of the process, once you've got the, the new cover on, um, is to apply some glue to the inside. Um, as I said earlier, the original has a Velcro strip under this edge that helps to hold it in close um, to the plastic. Um, the skins I've got, or the covers I've got, didn't have that. I don't know whether um, there are other ones available that do have that or not. So what I need to do is put some glue in along this edge here and then clamp the two um, together there just to hold that while the glue sets. And also to put some glue around this edge here, um, around this opening basically. So we'll, um, we'll do that as the next step. In terms of the glue I use, I use this Crafters Pick Fabric Glue. I tend to find um, works very well. Just basically get a load on and apply it with a brush. So you want to get it right down the um, right down the end there, and work it in. Piece of plastic conduit just to act as a bar here, really, to make sure that's all pushed down properly with the clamps. Um, and then on the end here, which I might clear a bit of that off to start with, um, I use the original plastic cover to clamp it down. Put some of that off. You need to put something to cover the hole on the far side as you're going to clamp it up. There's a coaster over there. And then something on the face just so you don't damage the plastic.
That's that clamped on there. And then what we need to do is put this along the edge here in order to clamp that down. Get that in there nice and tight underneath. And push it up against the, the bottom edge here if you can. And then get some roll around there just to protect that. to leave that obviously the glue to dry before then possibly applying some glue on the far side so here we are with the uh, finished article uh, obviously taking the clamps off and this is all glued down nicely along the edge here and I said that's kept that nice and tight up against the overhang and then I did just um, put a bit of glue this side just around uh, the perimeter of this um, this section here. Didn't worry about the rest of it. The original didn't have anything holding this bit down, so um, I've not bothered with any glue in there. So that's near enough ready to go back on. Only thing we need to do now is put the adjuster knob back on, which is just a case of uh, aligning that, pushing it in. Not sure how critical the alignment is, particularly. Certainly is a tight fit. Oh, that's that one there. So we're now we're now good to go. Put that back on the car. So here we are back in the car now. Ready to put the arm back on. So as I mentioned before, there's a there's a cutout in the. Uh, in the plastic on this side of the arm and you have to align that with the bar that projects out of the the main spigot Just on the way home and then we need to replace the torx screw it's actually a torx t30 that on the lid off. replace the plastic cover um, so the, the the middle section where my finger is there um, has to slide over there's a raised edge to the uh, to the fixing bolt and that slides behind that and then it gets locked in with the little tabs here into some little recesses it should just be a case of Same job. There we are. And then we 
can obviously readjust back to horizontal. So yeah, that's the end of the process. Um, I'd say the colour match is very good. So uh, hopefully you'll find that uh, helpful if you're uh, going to attempt this yourselves.